Hello and welcome to the bonus episode of Chapter 15, Drawing a Line. I just want to quickly walk you through what I've done here. I've got a loop that's going to run 200 times. So 4i to 200, and at the end, down on line 10, we can see N4. So everything in between here is going to happen 200 times. We're going to generate a random number between 1 and 500. Then we're going to get another one and another one and another one. What we're actually doing here is graphics window pen color equals graphics window get random color. That's actually a way of setting the color to a random variable, which is good for when you kind of want weird and wonderful patterns. And then instead of telling the line where to start and finish with numbers, we're going to do it with variables. So the first random number is going to be the X value at the start of the line. Second random number is the Y value. Third one is the X for the end of the line and then the Y for the end of the line. And it's going to do that over and over again. So I like to think of this as being a bit like pickup sticks, but let's have a look. There you go. So what we can see there is 200 individually drawn lines and the start and finish of them is set by those random numbers being generated again and again. And the colors are also generated randomly, although that's by that different bit of code. That's by line seven there. So I'm not going to set you a your time to code on this but it's worth knowing what you can do with loops to make things happen and over and over again, and a bit of randomness in there to, um, to spice things up. So keep this in mind.